So I've asked my friend Jennifer to join me today to demonstrate how you can give students access to what's called remote control in Zoom. And what this allows teachers to do is hand over control of their mouse to another student who's on the Zoom meeting so that they can manipulate what is on the teacher's screen. And the example that we're going to use for doing that today is a great free tool called FET. FET is a set of math and science simulations that are designed to help students explore concepts in those subject areas. And the one that we're going to use today is called the Equality Explorer. So just to give some sort of context to how I would use this with students, is because these simulations are designed for students to explore concepts and just sort of dive in and play with the math, um, I would give this ahead of time to students and ask them sort of with some sort of direction, give them a goal. So in this case, we're gonna use the Basic Equality Explorer. And this is a tool that allows you to um, drag and move fruit onto each side. There's, you can also use numbers, you can use other symbols, and try to make sort of a balance here or equal sides in terms of the types of fruit that you add on each side. So I would give the simple direction to students. I want you to play with the Equality Explorer, and I want you to find, say, at least um, four different matches of fruits and you have to have at least one different fruit on each side of the balance. And so that would be students working independently on their own so that when we come together, you could use Zoom and this remote control feature to have students actually sharing their equalities that they found and then asking questions of students in your class. So, um, now we're going to pretend we are in actually real class time and I will ask the question, hey, does anyone have an equality that they want to share? Now, assuming that Jennifer is my volunteer uh, from the class, this is your Zoom panel in Zoom meeting and you're probably familiar with many of these tools now. You may not have explored this remote control icon here. When I click on this, now Jennifer is the only person that I have on this call right now, but if you had a class, uh, you would have a list of the students that are in the call at this moment. So I am going to select Jennifer right now, and now both she and I can control my mouse. And so Jennifer now is actually um, moving the mouse, and she is going to show the equality that she found. Awesome. So we have an equality here where two lemons is the same in terms of weight as one apple and three oranges. So now with FET, and I'm, I have control now, I'm going to take a snapshot of that so that we have sort of the memory of, okay, we know that this is an equality within this tool. So now I would use this as an opportunity to pose questions to students. And in this case, what I'm going to say is, okay, we have two lemons, I'm going to add two lemons onto this side, and then I would pose the question to my class, could anyone balance this by adding fruit to the right-hand side? And I could ask for volunteers, and again, I would just go to this remote control, and you see I can abort that control so that Jennifer no longer has control, and if there were a list of students, I could then add a different student to maybe answer this particular question, but I'm going to go back to Jennifer and I'm going to ask her to add more fruit onto the right hand side to make this a balance. So Jennifer, I've given you control. And so she has answered this in, in one way. So in this case, what she did, because I added two lemons to the left hand side, 
she added two lemons to the right hand side and that is sort of a very important algebraic concept and a concept around equality that if you do something to one side of the equation you need to do the same thing to the other side so I'm going to snapshot that because that's a great way of answering that question and it is a correct way but there's multiple ways of actually answering this question based on the information that we know so I'm going to remove those lemons and we're going to keep it the same and say okay class since I in this case we had equality before with two lemons equals three oranges and one apple what if I double the number of lemons on one side so we've doubled the amount of fruit on the left hand side can anyone balance this out on the right hand side without using lemons and again I would ask students to volunteer maybe you have them on audio and they say that maybe you use the chat window for them to volunteer um, but again you could abort control from Jennifer and give it to another student again she's the only person I have here for this demo so I'm going to give control back to Jennifer and we're going to have her uh, add fruit to balance this out That's awesome. So now we've done it in a different way, and now we're getting into concepts such as the distributive property, right? Where we see that we had to multiply times two the number of lemons here, and on the right hand side, if we're doubling, that means we had to double the number of apples and double the number of oranges in order to get equality. So this remote control mouse is a really cool way if you're using a tool like, uh, excuse me, FET, uh, to engage students in learning in real time, uh, even though we're in a virtual setting. And I really want to stress the importance of using tools like this during the, the actual limited face-to-face -face time, albeit virtual, that you have. Uh, to provide actual rich learning experiences such as this using tools such as FET. So I hope this was a helpful uh, tip for you in terms of how to use Zoom, and uh, thank you.